before there was oil and gas. Coal mining industry is what, what drove the economy of the United States for a great, great deal of time. Coal mining swept through Oklahoma. It was very dangerous work. Coal miners worked long hours in poorly lit conditions. Stale air filled the lungs of those brave enough to venture into the deepest of mines. But what was considered hard work. So you can imagine going back in the dark on a thing on your belly in, the, in, in, in one of those for a mile. Benefited all Oklahomans by fueling trains with coal transporting goods. A thriving business showed promise across the Sooner State until the discovery of diesel fuel. The mines started, started drying up back then. The remnants of a livelihood sit abandoned. The soil, although rich in history, poses a danger to society. And here in Oklahoma, we've had 25 deaths as a result of uh, the ban uh, mine land hazards. From rugged land to washed out roadways. Ranging from uh, drownings all the way to folks venturing into underground shafts and hitting a point where there was no air. And then we've got to begin to. But now one program is picking up the slack and reclaiming old mines, both above and underground. We are eliminating the dangerous high walls. We're eliminating the uh, hazardous water bodies. We're eliminating other uh, dangerous uh, hazards as a result of that and create a, a, a hazard in and of itself. The Oklahoma Conservative Commission is traveling That's Oklahoma, land filling land in land old mine sites and repacking the land with soil. With more than 72,000 acres of abandoned mines, the Abandoned Mine Land Reclamation Program covers 16 counties across Oklahoma. It's important for us to find the oldest map we can find because that's going to show these early uh, mined out areas of these maps. Dating back to the 1920s, AML is reconfiguring original maps into layouts of today's land. With nearly $122 million worth of high priority coal mines to fill, the road ahead is a long one. We have to establish priorities each and every year uh, to determine which sites we reclaim and which sites that we defer just really based on the hazard itself. History has left a dangerous mark, but moving forward, the hope is to heal its scars. Corey Duke, Two Works For You.